They hand it to the man in motion. That's Greg Stroman, and all over it is Darren Lee. So your options are very limited, again, so far from what we've seen. To step up. It's going to have to be Max Wittick. He's going to have to make, he's going to have to make some plays. Pressure coming. Wittick in trouble. The ball is out. The ball is loose at the five-yard line. Buckeyes have it. Well, I'm not going to say that our producer, Bart Fox, is Nostradamus here, but he just called that. He called for a pick six. Yeah. I mean, now it was number six who picked up the ball. That's what he was talking about. <laughs> he said six is going to pick. It's a pick six. Darren Lee providing the hit. Bullsey and Hawaii. Ran into his back. Pressure comes and he's sacked. It was Darren Lee who came into the backfield untouched for the sack. Bring an extra guy. You have to account for him. Darren Lee, I believe, with the second sack of the day. Just coming off the edge. There's no one there. The back turned the wrong way. It's, uh, it's not good. Where he's, he's dropping to. They have just given Northern Illinois one chance after another. And now Ohio State with Darren Lee. Touchdown. It's almost like Darren Lee said, look, I've had enough of this. <laughs> Let's turn this game around. In, in touchdown passes at Indiana. And this is their premier running back, Jordan Howard, who's trying to duplicate the tremendous. Give it to Martin again, but he's hit in the backfield and spun down for a loss. That was Darren Lee invading instantly. And you have Raquan McMillan and Darren Lee. You're going to shoot here, but here's the playmaker right here. And if you're not going to account for him setting the edge, you're going to have some problems. And I don't know if that's a, a mix-up or a miscommunication. You had a tight end that time coming over. It looked like he was going to pick up a block, but he ends up going back to the right. Made it very easy for the very athletic Darren Lee to make the play. Yeah.